cookie and it is absolutely delicious. So uh, I want to go ahead and get started on this. Uh, first, I would like to ask you if you would subscribe down below uh, to my channel. I would love for you to come back and uh, watch all the other things that I do. I have I do a lot of baking and I do a lot of uh, uh, cooking and a lot of things. So if you will just make sure you subscribe, I would appreciate it, okay? All right, the first thing we're gonna do is also hit the like button. <laughs> I need you to like it also, okay? All right, we're gonna add two cups of creamy peanut butter. Now, the option is creamy. Unfortunately, we only have crunchy. So I am going to put, this is a two cup measuring cup and I've already got it measured. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two cups of, uh, this has got, it, I'm gonna say peanut butter because this one has the nuts already in it. I wish it didn't because this uh, recipe also calls for, um, is it papitas? Is it, am I saying it right? My understanding is that is kind of like a roasted uh, pumpkin seed, I think is my understanding. All right, so we have got two cups of um, peanut butter in, in here to start off with, and then it calls for a cup firmly packed of brown sugar. So that's what I'm adding right now, firmly cup, packed of brown sugar. All right, the next thing it asks for is uh, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which I don't have down, let me grab it. Okay, dokie, we're gonna put a teaspoon of vanilla extract in. And let me get the teaspoon up here. Right here we go, and I'm, gonna just, I'm just using Happy Homes. It's an imitation, but it works just fine, so that's what we're gonna use. All right, here is one teaspoon. And what I do, since this is an imitation, I always add just a little bit more. I use over a little bit of it. I let it run over just a second. Okay, now the next thing it calls for is a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I do have my cinnamon right here. This is, uh, I use McCormick's. You can use anything around cinnamon. And it's calling for a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. All right, there we go. I'm gonna put my cinnamon in. Alrighty, and then it now calls for two large eggs. So I'm gonna put one at a time in, and then I'm gonna start mixing right here, okay? All right, there is one large egg. And let me get this out of here for a second. Get my fingers are all good and messy, but I've gotta get that off. All right, now I'm gonna run the mixer so it's gonna get a little bit noisy, but we're gonna get this mixed up. It already smells good you put that peanut butter and cinnamon together. Oh my goodness, smells delicious. All right, now that's mixed together. So let's go ahead and add the other egg in. We'll put the other egg in here. There we go. All right, let's work on it and get it mixed up. And then after that, it calls for a cup of rolled oats, which is like an old fashioned oats. Oatmeal, it's not um, it's not the quick oats, okay? Just make sure that you get the old fashioned oats, which is just like this. It's like Quaker oats. I know there's other brands also, but this is Quaker oats. And it calls for one cup of rolled oats. So we're gonna put, measure it out right here. Now this is very, you know how granola is. It is really, all right, here goes our cup. Let me show you. That's what it looks like. It's the bigger oatmeal, okay? So we're gonna put that one cup in there. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. It's looking delicious. Get all those oats mixed in. It's stiff because it is a cookie, remember? It's a little bit stiff. I'm going to mix a little bit. Alrighty. Now the 
then it calls for one half cup of dried cranberries. So let me see, I got my half cup. This is the half cup and these cranberries, I bought them online. So you see what kind of a bag I got. I got a huge bag of cranberries. We'll be eating cranberries a while. All right, make sure I get it full because I, these things are kind of lopsided here. All right, there we go. One cup, one half cup of dried cranberries. And then it also calls for one half cup of roasted and salted papillas, if I'm saying that right. What did I do with it? There it is. And this one is roasted and salted. So they look like this, guys, if you can see in here. See, that's what they look like. I did not realize I had never tasted one. Let me taste it. Not bad, okay, not bad at all. I could just sit and eat those. So we're gonna eat a half, put in a half a cup of those. So I'm gonna add that. And we're gonna mix this thick up again. And it actually calls for you to put your oven on 350, so my oven is on 350 right now. Preheating. And the way they describe this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm using just a regular cookie sheet. And I'm gonna pam it. I'm gonna put some pam on it to make sure it doesn't stick. And then what it called for, it actually called for um, you to use either a fourth of a cup or a cookie cookie um, thing you you know not cookie but ice cream scoop. So I'm going to try the ice cream scoop. If it doesn't work, then I will definitely try the cup. But let's see if this works first. They say you don't need about, uh, they're, they're supposed to be placed about a inch apart. And so you're not supposed to get them too close. Let me get this packed in here a little bit. Like that. And I'm just going to drop it on there, girls. Like that. All right, I don't know how these, this is new to me too. I haven't made this recipe. It looked absolutely delicious. So we're gonna, everything in it sounds good. So how do you not say it's good, right? I mean, when everything in there sounds good, it has to come out good. All right, we're gonna put, mash this down. That's good because what happens is once you put it in that spoon, see how mashed down it is? And then you can just basically let it drop out. And you can do that with a fourth of a cup. Evidently, that's kind of what this is called for is around a fourth of a cup when you do it. And then what, what they say after you get it on there, um, just kind of mash your top down just a little bit. Let's see here. I'm telling you what, they look and smell absolutely scrumptious. So I'm excited about trying them. And who doesn't like granola? I mean, really, who does not like granola? That is probably it's something that everyone loves. All right, let's see if I can get this one because I think we're gonna get about nine. I think I can move these over and we can get nine on here is just about what it's going to take i believe so let me put about three more on here and we will see now i'm not going to get to show you the finished product but i but it is actually it takes about 10 to 12 minutes to cook these so about 10 or 12 minutes from now the cookies will be done and um I will enjoy them. Girls, I don't know how to show you what they will look like. I do apologize. I don't, um, I don't have enough. I don't know how to do that run ahead stuff yet. I'm still learning all that, but I do want you to, I want you to try these cookies because you're going to love them. They smell and look so good. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this peanut butter spoon that I had and I'm just kind of mashing down the top just a little bit, not much, just a little. And just kind of, that spreads it out just a little bit. And just a little. There we go. 
There we go. Spread, spread, spread. Okay. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this extra because we'll put that one in the next grouping instead of losing some of these out here on the sheet for them just to cook off by themselves. We'll just grind them up. All right, this is what they look like, okay? This is what they look like and smell delicious. So I'm gonna put them in a 350 uh, degree oven and they're gonna cook for 10 to 12 minutes. And then it says, let them cool, you know, to like a couple minutes on the tray before you actually try to get them up. Now you can use parchment paper too. I just sprayed this cookie sheet. So anyway, I will be putting the recipe on here so you guys can get the recipe too if you didn't get what, what I was saying. But uh, if you want uh, to try these, I think you will love them, girls. Just go for it, okay? Alrighty, thank you for watching.